Uh, your good name is? Uh, my name is Wing Commander Soma. Uh, Wing Commander Soma. Yeah. So I retired from Air Force, uh, okay. 22 years of service. Okay, okay. So uh, basically I just uh, want to thank you for uh, a wonderful uh, product which you have brought. Basically which is helping millions of people uh, in very critical disease. So I just want to talk about my mother-in-law. Okay. So uh, basically she is uh, uh, Miss Shamanta. How old she is? She is around uh, 67 years. Mm. She is diagnosed with uh, uh, eye creatine. So the creatine levels had reached uh, 6.8. And uh, then she had to, uh, the doctors in Apollo hospital advised us that we should go for uh, dialysis. So initially they started the dialysis for uh, uh, once in a week. And then subsequently it went into uh, every three days. And then the stage came when they said that she need dialysis every day. So uh, they, they found that uh, she was getting, uh, there was a lot of water getting accumulated in her lungs because they found that uh, the kidneys are not functioning and they declared that uh, both the kidneys have uh, stopped working due to which there is huge amount of water accumulation and due to which the only way to save her was uh, dialysis. So we continued uh, daily dialysis uh, to her in Apollo Hospital, uh, uh, Rajajinagar, that is sorry, Maleshwaram. And then we sh subsequently shifted to Suk uh, uh, Suguna Hospital because uh, the costs were going up. So we shifted uh, there and then we continued with the dialysis. So it was a very painful process because every day, six hours she was spending on the dialysis machine itself. And then she comes back to the room, uh, we had, uh, had a ward there. But then she has no no life. She was just uh, lying down there. She is she was actually an eye diabetic uh, patient. Due to which she actually, actually she lost her. Uh, um, you can say she she went into a stage where she couldn't even recognize uh, her children, uh, uh, grandchildren, everybody. She just was uh, very. Um, she was actually bedridden uh, mm. and then she was not able to recognize uh, us also and then uh, but she, she used to remember your mother. Uh, yeah she is my mother she mm. used to remember uh, uh, all of us but uh, uh, when we go in front of her like uh, she was not able to uh, recognize, recognize us. us okay so, so then we requested our son who is a uh, geriatric uh, expert in UK he is practicing in uh, Wales mm. uh, there so we requested him you come down because the situation is not good here. So he, he flew down to India. He saw her condition uh, after three four days when he saw her that every day she has to undergo this uh, six hours of dialysis. Being a doctor, he said that at at UK when we see a patient at this level, what we generally do is we tell them we call all the uh, relatives and then tell them that this is the state. We cannot continue like this because it's bad for the patient. It's not good for the patient to continue like this. So we help them that, okay, you stop the dialysis and maybe she may pass off uh, within a week or two weeks, depending on her own uh, this thing. So he was recommending similar thing that maybe we cannot uh, see uh, my mother uh, suffering like this. So let us also think in that uh, level. So we planned that, okay, we will discuss with uh, the doctors uh, who are treating her in India. So we had a time of uh, a week or so because we were uh, waiting for the doctor to come back. He had gone for some uh, conference. Uh, conference. So we said, okay, let us be uh, at home and let us continue with daily dialysis. We'll take a call after a week. So, so every I, day we used to take her in the ambulance uh, to the hospital, get her dialyzed and in the ambulance only she used to come back. And then the whole day after the dialysis, she used to be lying on the bed only. So we used to feed her little bit food and all those things. Uh, but uh, the state was like this, like she was okay. not active. Ne never, like, uh, it was uh, like she was not able to recover from... She was totally uh, bedridden and in fact uh, she had uh, developed all the bed uh, sores and all, and all those things. So it was a very painful state. So I, I had actually come through, uh, I came across Miracle Drink... Uh, article in one of the newspaper and then subsequently had gone through various uh, YouTube videos uh, especially of your uh, uh, talks on the YouTube so I just told my brother-in-law since everything is over 
we have decided that maybe we may not be able to continue further so let let us try this maybe we'll we'll see something maybe or not maybe so let us take a call so he said okay let if there is a final this thing so let us try that also so we came here to the miracle drink office here and then we met uh, mr uh, uh, asha arish arish and uh, we spoke to him because that day he was not there here so when he he understood the whole uh, this thing then he said uh, sir you try this because anyway you have taken a decision that maybe we may not go with dialysis let us try this once so we took that uh, miracle drink then we started giving her the dose as per whatever was given here uh, the diets are not we, we were yeah. uh, uh, whatever for dialysis like whatever the allopathic medications was uh, there we were continuing that along with that we were giving this miracle drink morning and in the evening okay. both the times for mm-hmm. the times and uh, because it was a three time uh, yeah. thing so all the three times we religiously followed it and uh, to our surprise within a week uh, she had excess urine uh, flow which the doctors were telling that she is not having a urine flow of not even 50 ml so from there she had a excess uh, urine flow and uh, my brother in law himself who was a doctor was uh, monitoring her and she he said that there's definitely some something which is uh, changed and uh, as i said that since we were waiting for the doctor to come back from conference it was just two days before that then she started actually sitting uh, on, the bed. on the bed and she started even moving she felt that no i can walk around and uh, i would like to go to the bathroom myself so it was a big change and it was in fact a miracle for us so we waited for the doctor to come and when we tested her creatinine levels it had come down to 3.7 or uh, 3.8 from 6. Point from 6. Point. so the doctor said it's a very nice uh, this thing whatever has happened it's good though we didn't inform and fact i am very frankly to tell you because i couldn't uh, we couldn't dare to tell the doctor that yes we are trying with an alternate medicine so we said uh, it's anyway good sir uh, so you suggest suggest us what to be done he said let us continue for another 3 4 days on daily dialysis then i will do one more test so once of the, RR, the renal functional test is completed then i will take a call and uh, within another 3 4 days our level came down to 2.8 so he said that let us move on to I alternate days mm. because he said we cannot uh, stop it immediately so let us do alternate days and from alternate days he came to once in 3 days mm. and then from once in 3 days to weekly once, weekly once. Mm. and to tell you very frankly that sir uh, we now no, we yes told that let us stop the dialysis itself because our creatinine level is as low as now 1.7 great very nice so, so her, uh, her last dialysis was on december 9th oh. so after that we have not gone through any dialysis wonderful yeah so like actually like they had put a permanent fixture that is uh, that the uh, pistola uh, yeah mm. uh, uh, for the dialysis mm. but uh, later on because of that uh, 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 infection she was getting fever mm. so they said that the uh, like foreign body should not be there so that uh, yeah so they removed that also now uh, she is fine uh, she is on her own she takes care of herself so uh, uh, thanks for this uh, miracle drink okay. thank you much thank you